Greetings my beautiful friends and welcome to Rahab Review Episode 1, a format where we review a set or game of Blaze Blue. Professor Pluton asked me to review his game in the Blaze Blue Beginner Pen hosted by Mahu Shoujo, as such we will be focusing on his gameplay. Especially as he is playing Kagura and his opponent Ecortis is playing Azrael, a character I don't know much about. I already like the round start from Pluton. He could have used 2C to low profile the 5C, but he decided to play it safe instead, which is a smart choice in round 1 as you are feeling each other out. I assume he wanted to enter air with B Fafnir after the A orb, but he didn't have the shards ready so he just jumped and blocked. Good C Fafnir to take back the turn. Z6C on wake up was too greedy, as 2C or 5B would already cover for the opponent trying to jump out. I like these Seafafnirs to discourage Ecortis from attacking, especially as Pluton has burst available. That could have been more than 4k damage, so agreeable burst from Ecortis there. Unfortunate whiff, but Pluton got the burst if he needs it. Ecortis drops the combo, but gets a reset, and Pluton decides to use his burst. The double jump JC gets clipped and Ecortis gets another combo. Excellent C Fafni on the overhead. Great 60B Ashtaha to evade the attack and gets a side switch, but he left so much damage and positioning on the table. That could have been 4k and the corner if he had gone for 2DC Naga, 5DA Hydra instead of B Fafni. Nice whiff punish with 2C, scouring the KO. But again, the routing leaves much to be desired. Ideally, you would follow up with 5DC Wyvern or 2DC Naga depending on the spacing and proration to get 5k damage meterless. If you already dialed in 2DB Searish, RC6C is the way to go. If you are okay with sacrificing damage, you can simplify these combos quite a bit by leaving out the A orb 5C pickup and replacing 5DC Raha B Fafni Kadamos with 2DA Kadamos. The second round starts very similarly to the first one with both players feeling each other out. This time Pluton's C Fafni gets baited, but luckily for Pluton Ecortis drops the combo. He is in the corner though and jumping a bit too much without purpose. Normally you'd either try to hit an aerial, escape the corner or bait an anti-air and take back your turn. Z5C was a bit too greedy, and in this position 2C has less risk and better reward, as it enables a side switch. Pluton is once again jumping too much without purpose, and risks getting anti-aired as JB is a very telegraphed high. He still hits the JB though, but misses the confirm, as he'd need to press 6B after 2B to continue the combo. He gets the 2C anyway, and this time even converts nicely. Although he could squeeze out a little more damage with different routing. A op might have been better here as it is easier to convert, but B op is a good option if you expect a very late tech. Not have been much as he used 2A, so getting Ecortis burst is huge. Pluton is not converting the Wyvern counter hit here, otherwise this would have been game. Good idea to back up and play a bit defensive, as Pluton got the life lead and might soon get his burst back. Tipped by a nasty reset into cross up by Ecortis. With better routing, Ecortis might have killed here. He is a bit willy nilly with the Wyverns, which could backfire as those could be evaded and punished or low crushed. But he gets the hit and unfortunately drops again. His impatience gets the better of him and that run up costs him the round. Ecortis was looking for a JC as it seems, but got Pluton nonetheless. If Pluton had chilled just a little bit, he could have won the game with JC, Fafnir, Lindwurm, the possibilities are endless. Unfortunate combo drop, that would have been 4k and the corner. This last round is all Ecortis so far, opening Pluton up and getting his combos. Pluton C Fafnir gets baited, but he would have had Mita to rapid cancel it and preserve his burst. 5DA Hydra after 2DB Sirius is risky, as it only got upper body guard points meaning Ecortis could have mashed a low or throw and get a punish. It works out though, but Pluton is a bit too late on the 6C, missing out on huge damage.
He makes the best out of it though with 68 Ashtaha. It seems to be lost on how to continue the combo, as this is an awkward position to combo from 60B Ashtaha. He gets punched for his troubles, but has full meter to start a comeback. I think that was supposed to be a C Fafnir and ultimately that cost him the game. After this game, Pluton switched to Ragnar. Feel free to watch the original watch if you want to see what happened afterwards. But before that, let's recap our advice for Pluton. You overall got the general gameplay down. Spacing out your opponent with big buttons and discouraging them from offense with C Fafnirs. You were sometimes too impatient, jumped too much, forgot to RC your Fafnirs and were missing some crucial confirms though. I am guilty of some of these myself, so keep up the good grind, I am looking forward to seeing you improve even further. If you have any game or set you want me to take a look at, regardless of character, leave a link in the comments or contact me via Discord. I don't know how this format will evolve going forward, but I'd like to test it out some more. Hope you enjoyed the show and see you next time. Until then, bye bye!